everyone, I'm here at the Diabetes UK Professional Conference 2017 and I'm joined by Dr Nita Faruhi from the University of Cambridge and we're going to talk about diet and nutrition. First of all, diet and diabetes is a long debate. Um, what's the motivation behind your research into this area? A number of reasons. When I started out, there was a lot of confusion about many dietary factors, including sugary drinks and diabetes. What was not clear was whether the relationship was only through sugary drinks leading to obesity, leading to diabetes, or whether, or whether there were independent effects as well. So we specially set out to do that. The other thing was much of the world literature when I started out was limited to uh, USA, North America, and we set up a very large study, the world's largest in fact, for type 2 diabetes in Europe. Uh, and also, uh, because diet is measured with self-report, for some of our research questions I wanted to see whether we could use objective uh, biomarkers in the blood instead of relying on people's self-report. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, we hear lots of conflicting information like you just suggested. So how do people with diabetes find out what's best for them personally? So you're right, there are so many different diets out there, named ones or ones that focus on being low carbohydrate in nature, or low fat in nature, and it can be quite tricky to choose the right one for you. So as a person with type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes, firstly, do consult your GP, uh, your dietitian, uh, or a practice nurse or a specialist nurse. Uh, read about it. There are some excellent websites. Uh, Diabetes UK provides good uh, advice. There's NHS Choices as well. Uh, and take what you hear in the media with a little bit of a pinch of salt <laughs> because although there are some excellent studies that do get highlighted by the media, some very poor quality ones do too. So we can't change dietary advice with every new study that comes out. One of the things I did cover in my lecture was to look at the evidence across a body of research and not just single studies. So use all of that to guide what works best for you. And as one researcher said elsewhere, uh, think of uh, trying different diets as going on a date. You keep trying until you settle down with the one that works best for you. <laughs> Have you had a good time at, at Diabetes UK Professional Conference 2017? Absolutely I have and it's been a great opportunity both to give the lecture but also to uh, meet with colleagues, to network, to brainstorm some ideas for future research and also to learn from, uh, from, from uh, me attending other lectures. So it's been a superb opportunity. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. And thanks very much everyone for joining our highlights. <laughs>